Welcome everyone to Ocean City, Maryland. The Seaside Boat Show was recently held over the President's Day weekend. And that means that recreational anglers are gearing up for the upcoming fishing season. With that in mind, let's go over the Maryland 2023 State Waters Saltwater Regulations. We'll review the size and krill limits of the 12 most likely fish to be caught in and around Ocean City, Maryland's waters out to three nautical miles while exploring different locations where a particular species is likely to be caught. So let's begin right here at the Ocean City Inlet with Maryland's state fish, the striped bass. Also known as rockfish, the size limit is 28 to 35 inches, less than three miles from shore. One per person per day. Also, sheep's head can be found here. No size limit, four per day. As we head over to our next location, let me emphasize that I am not an accomplished fisherman. And in fact, there are other folks much better qualified in educating in what rigs, baits, and techniques to use. Like the guys and gals over at Unseen Pro, hooked on OC. However, I can guide you to some wonderful spots, like here at the OC Fishing Pier, where you can drop your line right into the breaker zone without needing to cast a 13 foot rod. And maybe you'll get lucky and catch one of Maryland's rarer fish, the cobia. Cobia have a 40 inch minimum, one per person per day from June 15th to September 15th. Boat limit two for up to two anglers. Another privately owned pier near the inlet with a modest fee is the Oceanic Fishing Pier. But right beside it is Sunset Park, which is publicly owned and free of charge. Whichever spot you choose to wet your line, you might be able to land a fish that looks a lot like trout, but is a different species, the weak fish. Weak fish has a 13 inch minimum, one per person per day. Fishing the Route 50 bridge is a great place to catch all kinds of fish, either from the bridge itself, from the rocks, or a small boat. And here, you can catch that trout, the speckled trout. Speckled trout has a 14 inch minimum, four per person per day. Right behind the convention center on 40th street, you can look out into the middle of the Isle of White Bay. And during the warmer months, see tons of pontoon boats drifting the channels in search of flounder. Summer flounder need to be at least 16 inches, four per person per day. Tall tog fishing is very popular at the 4th Street Bayside Pier, in part because not only is it great to eat, but also a bit challenging to catch. You've got to have the right rig or else you'll be losing lots of tackle in the snags. Tall Tog has a 16 inch minimum, four per person per day from January 1st to May 15th, two per person per day from July 1st to October 31st, and four per person a day again from November 1st to December 31st. 
a nifty little spot that usually isn't too crowded is the 9th Street Pier, where you've got a good chance at netting some croaker. Croaker have a 9-inch minimum, 25 per person per day. Another little gem of a hidden honey hole is Homer Gudelski Park, locally known as Stinky Beach. And while I did say that I'm certainly no expert, I do know enough that you might want to use that steel leader when casting for snappers and choppers. Bluefish have an 8-inch minimum, 3 per person per day, or 5 per person per day when on a charter. And you'll probably also want to take a charter, like one here from the Bahia Marina, if you're looking for a black sea bass dinner. And while you can catch plenty of them in the bay or from the shoreline, the chances of a keeper are slim to none unless you're offshore in the bass grounds. Black sea bass have a 13 inch minimum, 15 per person per day, May 15th to December 11th. Our final two species will take us to the beach to do some surf fishing. And you'll only need the minimum one for a big family dinner. Black drum have a 16 inch minimum, one per person per day, or up to six per boat per day. And red drum, 18 to 27 inch minimum, one per person per day. Thanks for watching, and good luck to all the fishermen.